Hi guys, it's Kara, and I thought it was time I got started on my June hauls video for you. It is a gorgeous sunny day so far here in Anchorage, although the storm clouds are slowly drifting in, and I wanted to take uh, advantage of some of the natural light, so that is what I'm doing. I'm going to jump right in with the first little haul. I have several to share with you. Um, the first one comes from Jet Pens. Now, I didn't actually order myself. Um, Myself and um, my basically best friend order from Jet Pens very frequently and um, always check with each other when we're ordering. So she was doing a little order and I needed just a few things. So she ordered those for me and she also, was also nice enough to order me two of these pens to try. We often do that when we see that there are new things. These are two Sarasa Porous pens. Um, they are supposed to be water resistant. They are, I believe, 0.8. That's what they look like. I don't know which pink this one is because again I didn't order it but this is a pink and this is I think supposed to be their version of a gold. Um, the other little things that I got came in this box and I used it just to write out these two ink colors so you get a uh, look at what they look like. So there they are. I also needed some refills for my favorite work pen which is what these are for. They are Pentel Point five needle tip and that's honestly why I like them. I've currently been using the black but I wanted a couple other colors so I got it in a pink and a violet color as well. And hopefully you kind of see that little needle tip. When I'm at work I use a Hobonichi Weeks and for those of you who are familiar it has graph paper in it but it's very small or grid paper depending on how you want to look at it and um, it's very very small so I like these needle tip um, ink uh, cartridges or refills or whatever you want to call them to write in that. And then somehow I managed to misplace my blue Pilot Color Inu mechanical pencil. This has the blue pencil lead in it. I have a, I'm tempted to say one of my kids snagged it because one of them one of them has a blue as their favorite color but I have no proof. Um, it's just was strange it wasn't there and I needed to replace it because I wanted the complete set. And then while I was looking at this, I noticed that they have another um, mechanical pencil that has colored lead in it, and that is the uni color. This is 0.5, this is 0.7. And so I picked up just the paint to try it out. I haven't really had much chance to use it, but I will just tell you as far as um, the way they feel, to me this is this one's more substantial in my hand. Um, that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with how this one's going to perform, obviously, but this one feels very lightweight to me and a little cheaper feeling, for lack of a better term. Um, but that's no big deal. It still may be great pencil lead. Um, I also picked up a couple of new little sets from Designs by Rachel. Uh, Rachel Beth, sorry. And I'm kind of rounding out my colors. I have a ton of her little sets. I love her colors. She's great customer service. She's super, super helpful. And so I picked up a couple new sets and then a couple individual pans. So this is the first one I got. Again, if I haven't said it, this was two separate orders. So here's the first one. This is a Latte Date. And you can see the colors. It's kind of got some browns and a little bit of kind of orangey colors. Um, and hopefully you can see those little names in case you're interested. And then this next set, let me pull out the ones that don't go. Uh, let's see. This next set has another little set of four in it. And then she added two other pinks that I was interested in getting. Again, to kind of round out um, the colors that I wanted. Um, or felt that I needed. Here's the set first. Hopefully you can see that. Really pretty looking colors and I will eventually do a video on all of them. Uh, and then I had these two that I also picked up. So two more pinks. You can kind of see a little bit different than that one. I wanted some options and obviously I can mix them too and change them up a little bit. So I got those. And then I purchased a few things, um, some new pencils from uh, CW Pencil Enterprise. And I've purchased from them before. Their stuff usually comes in a big uh, yellow envelope like this. So first things that I'll show you are these that I purchased. I picked up 
um, three more erasers. Now these top two I've had before. Um, I just like them so much I wanted to have a second one of them. And this is a new one I wanted to have. I'm going to do, I'm planning on doing a kind of semi-in-depth review of erasers and I want, you know, more variety to show you guys. And then these are little pencil caps that are, are my favorite. I prefer these over that other kind. Um, I don't think I have any, let's see, laying around. Um, here I go. Okay, so here's what they look like when they're on a pencil. Okay, and they're, I like them as opposed to these. I still have these, I'll still use these. I just think these, to me, look a little bit more retro and I just think they're kind of cool looking. So I noticed that they were back in stock and I picked some of those up. And then I picked up several different pencils and I actually have my invoice next to me because I'm never gonna remember what's what. So let me pull these out and I will share them with you. Okay, so I bought three of these. They are the, um, and I might not pronounce all these correctly, so I apologize in advance, the Futura number no. two pencil. And you can probably figure out why I bought them just looking at them because they are all kinds of pink prettiness. So I got those, okay. And then I picked up two of the um, Stabilos. If you guys remember, I have the Stabilos. I think I have a, a black, a brown, and a graphite, the kind that are um, that work with water really well. And they had a red and a white, and I thought that would be fun to add to my collection and play around with. So I grabbed those. Then, because I was on a kind of water soluble kick, and I thought that might be a good future video, I picked up a couple others that um, are supposed to be water soluble. One is Karan Dosh, and the, that is this one right here. Um, and it, I believe, let's see, it is supposed to be an HB pencil lead, also supposed to be water soluble. And then I picked up this Art Graph one, um, and it is supposed to be a 2B and water soluble. So I'll, when I do the um, review of like the water soluble pencils that I have, um, I'll go over a little bit more detail um, when, when I do that. Then I picked up just this, um, I'm not gonna say this name right, it's a Kito Boshi, it's a vermilion pen, a pencil, and it's just a really pretty color. I thought it might be fun to sketch with. Um, so I grabbed that, and then I had been looking at this one for a while. This is just really a simple little um, seven color rainbow, rainbow pencil. And if you can see it, it's got all those. Gives you a little look right there. And I just honestly thought it would be fun. So I grabbed those. I'm very definitely enjoying different pencils, and I'm actually thinking um, I may start kind of separating out my pencils from some of my other supplies. Um, I think I might have talked about that before, but anyway, I am kind of saving up for a, I don't know if you want to call it a pencil case or pencil pencil pouch or something that's a little bit pricier than I normally get. And when I have the money saved up for that, I think I'm going to separate them out. But anyway, one last thing to talk about. Um, I have a order from the Goulet Pen Company. Um, I showed a picture of this on Instagram, I believe, and this is the um, stipula, and I'm probably going to again say this wrong, the Pas Pasaporta, Porto, and it comes in this adorable little case, and you pop the top, and it's got information in there, and it says... Um, that this is a pocket pen, very easy to handle with high ink capacity, equipped with a system for compensating the atmospheric pressure changes for greater safety at high altitudes. And then it says follow the instructions to refill the pen, which is on the back. So this is obviously a very small pen, okay? It's a fountain pen. And 
it is also an eyedropper, which is, it's my first eyedropper. And I thought I would just very quickly, just to show you to compare, I'll grab, let's see, I have my Twisby Mini, which is one of my absolute favorite fountain pens. So nice and small and portable, right? There is the size difference with that. And then I have kind of a regular sized Twisby. I think this is the, I think it's called the 580. And then you can see both of those up there. So anyhow, I had seen this one and I just thought it was too cute to pass up. Um, if you want to see it uncapped, there it is. This should fit on here semi-firmly. I don't know if it's going to stay on really well, but either way I could write with this if I needed to. It is awfully small, so if you have larger hands or don't like small pens, you wouldn't like it. It's, I'm pretty sure, all plastic. Um, this is a fine, I think, nib that I got. Let me just double check. Yes, it's a fine nib. And in addition to uh, coming in kind of this clear, I think they're calling it crystal or demonstrator pen type, it also comes in a kind of a matte black looking thing. And then in here with it is a couple different um, containers of ink, which I thought were really cool. And if I can figure out a way to save these and reuse these little things, I'm going to. Um, and then it also has a little what I'm assuming is a tool to help you fill it up. Let's see, yeah. Anyway, I thought when I opened it up it looked kind of cool, kind of like, you know, um, James Bondish, secret agent, whatever you want to call it. So I'm looking forward to playing with that in the next day or two. And then lastly, I picked up some ink samples. This is actually just three different ink samples. I got two in the same color because I want to use them with the eyedropper. And when I looked at how much ink you get and how much ink it holds, it should hold more than one of these samples. And you know, when I try a new ink, I want to use it for a while. So I was on the hunt for a, a gray ink that I liked. And so these are all grays, and I already went ahead and swatched them out so you could see them. Um, there's the first one, it's Moon Dust. There's the second one, Night Sky. And the last one is Silver Gray. Um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. These two up here are supposed to have some shimmer in it, and it does, uh, you know, a little bit of shimmer here and there. So I haven't decided which one I'm gonna try first. It's probably gonna be one of these two just because this is pretty dark and I already have a black ink in one of my fountain pens. Um, in fact, I think it's this one right here and it's a Noodler's, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, I'm planning on doing it currently inked for you guys uh, probably in July and uh, I'll go over this one. Um, but because the black ink is kind of close to that dark gray, thinking one of these two will be what I try. So that is everything for now. I have one or two other small things coming in, uh, hopefully next week. Next week is the last week of the month. And if I get those in time, I will add them to this video. Of course, all of the links will be down below to the Goulet Pen Company, to the designs by uh, Rachel Beth, to Jet Pens, and to the CW Pencil Enterprise, so that you can check them out if you haven't. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching it, uh, my videos, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody. Hi, guys. I have a few small last little hauls for the month of June to share with you, and I'm going to start by showing you what's in this bag. These are just a few things that I picked up at a local art store. If you're here in Anchorage, this is from Blaine's. Um, to my knowledge, it's our only real art store, art supply store that we have. I mean, we have a Joann's and we have a Michael's, but this is actually kind of a true little art store. And I try to support it because it's a local business that is a little bit more expensive than buying online, but depending on shipping, a lot of times it evens out. Um, I went in today with only really one thing that I wanted to look for, but I always, of course, look around. I found a couple other small things. And I was definitely in need of some retail therapy because it has been a week at work. So, Anyway, I'm gonna jump right in. I have been using this particular Coping Multiliner. It's the um, 0.3, looks like that. I've been using it mostly for writing um, and I'm loving it. And I'm also thinking that um, I'm getting ready to try and do 
maybe like a hundred days of sketching or something like that and I'll probably start with pencil but I like this Copic multiliner and I wanted to get some more because I think I will be using it or them maybe to um, you know after I've done the pencil sketch to use the marker to kind of fill it in um, although I do have another kind coming too that I want to try but anyway I went to Blaine's to get some more of these multi-liners. Now I do have these in other colors but I was there today just to get them in black and I didn't know what size I had at home but I actually got really lucky and I picked up three in sizes that were different than the one I already had which was pretty perfect. So I picked up those three and I picked up just a couple little sets of these ATCs um, with watercolor paper. Now I could have probably just made these myself, cut them out of some water paper, but I just thought they were cute, they were easy, I didn't have to do anything, and uh, July is, I think it's watercolor month, so I thought these might be fun to play with um, during that little month, that little project. And then because I am on a um, eraser kick, I found this Faber-Castell eraser and thought I needed to try it because it wasn't like anything else that I had in my little collection slides out like so. Thought it looked pretty cool. So, you know, I had to pick it up and give it a try. So there's that. And then lastly, I picked up another water brush. Now I have several um, water brushes, a couple, two or three different kinds, but I don't have this um, Aquash by Pentel water brush. So I thought I would try one. It's made a little differently than mine. Most of mine, are like this and I believe these are by Kiritake but I could be no yeah they are Kiritake Kiritake and yeah all of these are Kiritake so I wanted to try one that was slightly different so I picked this up okay so that's all I got at Blaine's then in the mail today I got a couple of inserts that I had ordered for my passport um, traveler's notebook um, and well actually one of them I'm not going to use on my notebook the other one I will but I purchased them in the passport size here is the first one and they're always you know so cute wrapped up and then this is what it is it's just like kind of a checkbook register and this is how I just track my bank account and that usually stays home someplace and then this one is a new one that I have not seen before in person. And it is a food journal. And I'll probably post some pictures maybe on Instagram or something as well. But I got this one because as I am rapidly approaching 50 this year, um, it is time for me to get a little healthier and I'm gonna start tracking my food tracking calories, carbs, things like that. And I wanted to give this a try. I think this is good for, I think, a month. So I thought I would try this out and see if I liked this method. I do bring my one little passport uh, traveler's notebook with me pretty much everywhere, so I thought this might be perfect. So I picked those up. And then I picked up a few stamps, which you've probably seen before, um, from Joggles. Um, I actually have a couple from this particular um, brand or maker, but I didn't open them up yet because I just wanted to show you this beautiful tissue paper that I'm going to very carefully open up because I can, you know, use that for collage material. I have been seeing um, Courtney, who is Little Raven Ink, um, use these quite a bit. And then I started to follow someone else on YouTube that actually I think Courtney recommended who is I believe Josie's Muse and she has a watercolor swatch book that I absolutely love and I'm gonna do some sort of a version on it my twist on it and she uses some of these stamps these are obviously from Stamping Bella if you guys remember I have I have one of the watercolor palettes the long one which I've actually used to help me figure out what colors I wanted to use and I can't remember the other one right now that I have. I don't remember at the moment, but I do have another one. 
So I picked these up to use in a watercolor swatch book myself. I wanted to have these options. So thanks Courtney for inspiring that purchase. And then the last thing I actually have to share with you guys is something that somebody made and sent to me. And um, for those of you who don't know, I do support Courtney on um, Patreon, Little Raven Inc. And um, there is a Facebook group that goes along with that. And someone there, Shannon, had posted some pictures of some lovely creations she had made and offered to send some to somebody, or to various somebodies, because she'd made a lot. And um, I just wanted to show you what she sent. Now, I've unwrapped it from the tissue paper, but I haven't opened it all the way up. So here is this gorgeous creation. As a matter of fact, let me move this over a little bit so you can see it. It's this beautiful pink color, which I absolutely love. And you can hopefully see the stitching and all that goodness. And you open it up like this. And look at how pretty. Now she put all these little extras in, which is such a nice surprise. Thank you so much. I don't know if you'll watch this or not, um, but it was just so sweet. So a couple of really cute bags. I love the polka dots. A cute um, paper clip with oh, cute little butterfly stickers. And let's see what else is in here. Like I said, I haven't gone through this. Some really pretty washi tape on a card, which I love. And some adorable doilies. And don't, don't the, the, doesn't that color look pretty up against the pink? It's gorgeous. Um, so really cute little doilies. This little card. Being somewhere is more important than getting somewhere, which is cute, right? And some stickers, some heart stickers. And in here, oh, a little note, which will go in my journal. Thank you very much. Oh, cute. And some little, um, like, page flags kind of looking things. Some little banners that she put in there. Some cute little tags. These are so cute. Thank you for all of this, all these wonderful little odds and ends, plus this gorgeous little folder that she made. You see that? It's so cool. Absolutely love it. I do not get along with sewing machines, and sewing machines do not get along with me. So I always appreciate when someone has the skill to do that. I wish I could because I love the way it looks. I love the frayed edges that you can create. I just think it's cool looking. So I really wish that I had that ability, but sadly I do not. So anyway, I wanted to share these last little um, hauls with you and this adorable um, little creation from Shannon. Thank you so much for this, Shannon. I absolutely love it, and I will enjoy using it. I'm not sure which notebook I'm going to put it in, but I will be using it. Um, I will put links down to all of the places that I can link. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. I'm hoping to be back soon with videos other than haul videos. Um, I actually have been kind of doing some planning and trying to get things back on track. So hopefully you'll see some other videos here really soon. Until then, I hope you enjoy the haul videos and feel free to check out my older videos. I have a ton of them back there. I have a lot of craft videos, a lot of planner videos, and um, they're there for you guys if you would like to look at them. As always, thanks so much for um, watching the video and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye everybody. Hey guys, I am back one last little time. I thought I was done as you would have seen in the previous little clip, but I actually ended up getting one small last little package on the 30th that I didn't expect so early, and I also went by Joann's and got a couple things, so I thought I would add them to this video. So I purchased a couple of things from a cherry on top. I purchased these two little Primo watercolor inserts. Um, I want to do a swatch book of some kind, and I was just looking around there and I saw these and I thought I'd give them a try. And so let me show it to you really quickly. The paper uh, weight is right there. And here's what it looks like. It's just a basic black cover, which is fine because I will probably eventually cover it up with something. And then inside are the watercolor pages. They're relatively thick. Um, hopefully they will hold up for the swatches that I want to, or for what I want to use this for, for the swatches. And there are 24 pages in here. So I got two of them. I think they were the last two that a cherry on top had. Um, so hopefully in the next week or so I'm going to start setting up kind of a swatch book. I basically got the idea for this, in case I haven't mentioned it, from Courtney, um, 
who is Little Raven Inc., I believe, on YouTube. And also, I think she originally got it from Josie's Muse, who has one, which is absolutely gorgeous. So um, that's kind of what triggered the idea for me. Um, so I'm going to try and start setting that up. And then I also just picked up this little teeny pad of watercolor paper, again, Prima. I thought it was cute. It's a it's a little thinner than the size of an ATC, um, but I thought it would be fun to play around with. So I picked that up. And then when I went to Joanne's uh, yesterday, I found a few things that I decided I needed to um, have. I was just kind of looking around, but I did run into these uh, Tim Holtz uh, worn wallpaper um, papers, and here's what they look like. I just thought they were pretty cool. I thought they'd be fun for collaging. Let's see if I can take one out easily enough so we can see how thick or thin they are. And I don't know that it's gonna be easy. Hold on, grab some scissors. I'm also in the process of rearranging my, my desk and going through more craft stuff yet again. I don't know if you guys do this, but I do it periodically. And um, my desk is chaos as, as a result. So anyway, here they are. And they're relatively thick. They're obviously one-sided. And you get two of each. So just kind of ruffle through them so you can see them. A lot of very cool kind of vintage floral pages. And I think these will be pretty as backgrounds in an art journal if you're cl um, collaging things along those lines. You could use them on cards and stuff as well, I suppose. But anyway, pick those up. I also picked up this set of pocket inserts from um, Dilutions, from Ranger, but the Dilutions um, part of it. And I really didn't have a desire to get any of these, but then I saw all of these and I think they'll be um, pretty in my standard size Foxy Fix that I'm using for something, which I'll share in a later video. Um, I just think they're gorgeous. And so I went ahead and got them just to um, try them out. I also picked up some more of her die cuts. I got the, um, what looks to be the cats and the dogs right here. And then this one is birds and flowers. I have the one, um, or I had the one, I don't remember what it's called right now, with the, the people, the girls or whatever those images. Um, and I've taken to sharing a lot of my coloring stuff where I work. Um, the staff that I work with likes to color often on break or at lunch, just kind of as a way to decompress and, you know, de-stress and all that jazz. And these have 24 pieces in, in them. If I remember correctly, it's two of each. So I keep one set for myself and I bring one set in. And since we're out of the other ones and I found these, I thought that would be fun. And then the last little thing I found, I was so excited to find there because I was honestly kind of hoping to find this, which is a new... Um, book. It is Create Your Life Book. There's the author. I don't want to misspell her name, but I follow her on Instagram for sure. And I don't, I think I do on YouTube too. I can't remember, but I just, I love her images. Um, I've been tempted to take her class, but I have so many classes to watch that I haven't done it yet because I'm trying, although it doesn't look like it, I'm trying not to spend money um, unless it's something that's a little bit different or something that I really need. And Anyway, I'd seen on Instagram that people were finding this book in um, at Joann's, and I just was hoping to find it, and it's gorgeous. I haven't started looking at it yet, but as you can tell from the cover so far that um, the artwork is just beautiful. Um, so anyway, I was super excited to find that. So that is officially it. I am filming this technically July 1st, but I did get these things yesterday, so hopefully I will edit and have this video up for you guys soon. Um, I am hoping to get back to some videos other than just haul videos. Um, I have a lot of things planned out. I just, once again, I'm in the middle of cleaning out my room and I'm one of those people, if I feel disorganized, I can't really function very well. So as soon as that's all done, hopefully I will start up um, some other videos for you guys. I will leave all the links down below for all of this good stuff. If you have any questions for me, of course, leave them down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye everybody.